again everyone it's great to see you all i'm andy and this is my channel andy cancer journey for all of you that are new this is my vlog about beating the odds and um my battle with fertility problems sort of during and mainly after having cancer i'd suggest uh if you're new going to the end of the video and clicking on the link which basically has the full playlist and in if you watch that I think you'll get the, the full gist of the message that I'm trying to get across in these videos. Also if I could ask you all to hit the subscribe button and change the little bell notification to all you'd be helping me so much like I said you just help me to reach a wider audience and that's that's my goal my dream is to just reach as many people as I can and help as many people as I can. With all that being said, let's get on with the video. Quick recap on last week's video. If you click on there, there's a link up here or here somewhere. If you click on that, it'll take you to last week's video. But recap, basically I talked about how um, my daughter, her health declined and she ended up getting rushed in for emergency heart surgery. Also, I explained about the amazing moment that she came around and I felt her clench my finger and I just knew that it was okay. We ended up getting moved to our, to our own room and uh, we, we still couldn't stay overnight, but we were there literally as much as we could be. And it was just unbelievable how fast my daughter was bouncing back from being almost on death's door to suddenly back to being her bubbly bright self like nothing had gone on it was just it was mind-blowing to watch it really was um <laughs> she was she's amazing she was getting she was getting stronger and stronger every day and like being awake longer every day she was staying awake for a bit longer you could just see all of these amazing changes happening for the for the better that we'd seen in the opposite way now she was getting better and she was bouncing back so quick she's a little fighter bless her and um yeah she she was eat, she was being fed by a tube um because she she couldn't she was so poorly she couldn't actually have a bottle or anything it, it was it, it was hard seeing that but at the same time they were given a special milk for it called infantrini and it's like double cream and uh, bulk her up help her to grow and put on some weight as well and obviously help the bones and her organs repairing I think I don't it, it to be honest it was just such a mind-blowing time and I truly I had faith that she was she 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 nailed it herself it was like a, another miracle she, she was actually doing that well that after two weeks the doctor came in and told us that we could go back to our local hospital because she was doing so well they didn't need to have her there and i was i was over the moon but i was scared as well because it felt safe at that it's a special children's hospital and like i just i was scared to go back but excited so they arranged for us to go back to our local hospital which was amazing because we were coming home we'd been so far away it was no no we couldn't see anyone no one could come and see us it was so hard but we were finally back in our hometown her mum had to stay at the hospital for um well i had to she got to um with my daughter on the mother and baby ward for i i think it was like a week and it was just to sort of 
check that my daughter was staying stable and stuff and she was doing so well they they sent her home and i'd been shown how to put the tube feeding tube back in um so they didn't have concerns about that and yeah we had the number for the ward if we needed to we were able to call them up and ask them anything they were amazing it was just I, i'm yeah it, it's it was a miracle it was a miracle so yeah i mean i got told that i couldn't have children we had the miscarriage then you know what i mean that we had my daughter come along and then had to face her nearly dying and having to have heart surgery and then you know another miracle coming there oh, that having her then her getting ill and then her beating it and her bouncing back miracles do happen they do happen and you've got to have hope as well hope is is so important in life also there's there's something else that i've been trying to get across in these videos and you might have picked up on it i keep on saying how we never talked about it and we never dealt with it and that's something that i wanted to get across because making these videos has made me realize how much i've carried this with me over the years and it's been hard it's been eye-opening it's been hard and i hope it's eye-opening to other people um but i just wanted to say just talk talk reach out find someone who you can talk to and share what is going on in your head don't hide it don't lock it away and try and be strong don't do what i did and think that because you've been in that situation you you know how to deal with it better it's life's crazy and you know what i mean like if you've got someone there like your partner you talk talk to them if you've please because it 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 costs me a lot not talking but i'm not going to get into that I just want to let you know that it 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 can cost you everything if you do want to talk about something that comes up in one of the videos then email me and we'll we'll have a chat don't be scared i don't bite <laughs> i'm probably more scared of speaking to you so but i'd be happy to that's all for this video i'll see you in the next one and remember, till then, stay strong in here as well, yeah? Peace out and God bless.